Okay, so for number one, we're going to start with figure B, and we are using a scale factor of three. So I'm going to start with this side right here, and since it's one long, I'm going to make multiply that by 3 since it's a factor of 3 and I'm going to make this 3 long. I'm going to put a 3 right there. Teachers, whoever is still on campus, please submit attendance. Thank you. And then for the next side, I'm going to look at this side right here. Hopefully you can see that. And since that's three long, I'm gonna multiply that by a factor of three. And three times three is nine, so this is gonna be two, four, six, eight, nine long. Now, I can't really do the diagonal very well. So this diagonal, we're not really gonna be able to see because believe it or not, it's not four long. So we're gonna cheat a little bit. Not cheat, we're just being creative. We're gonna go this way and this is too long, okay? So since that's two, we're gonna go two times three is six. We've got two, four, six. So we're gonna put a six up here. I forgot to put my nine here. And I messed up, darn it. Uh, I don't really want that. That's more of a guide post, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna leave, leave that nine there. I'm gonna go two, four, and I just need, I need to know I'm gonna move over, do that. All right, so then I'm going to count down from there all the way this way, and that's four long. So I'm gonna count down Three times four is 12, so I need to count down 12. So I'm gonna count down two, four, six, eight. Did I do that right? Yeah, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I'm pretty sure that's wrong because that didn't work. Two, <laughs> four, six, eight, 10, 12. Okay, I think it's right there. That looks right. No, it's one more. I'll get there. That's what happens. You make mistakes. And it's okay to make mistakes as long as you know where you made your mistake. So I'm going to connect to right there. And that's not right. It needs to be farther down. It's going to be right there. Okay. Now let's keep going here. We'll get it right eventually. So then I'm going to go up this way. And that's three long. So three times three is nine. So I'm going to go up two, four, six, eight, nine. And I'll put a nice big nine right there. And then we're almost done with this one. We're going to go over three. One, two, three. Or sorry, go over two. Multiply that by three. That's what happens when you rush. So since that's two, I need to go three times two is six. So I'm going to go two, four, six. And I'm done with our, so if you look at, compare our original to this one, they should look basically the same, just larger. Okay, for number two, we have a scale copy of figure C or D, and it's a factor of one half, scale factor of one half. So if I count here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six long. Since that's a factor of six, Half of that would be three, so I'm gonna go over and go one, two, three, and do that. And then, again, diagonals are a little difficult, but I noticed that this one ends at the same spot. So I'm gonna go over to my left and count down. So if I'm counting down to this way, this is six. Half of six is three. So that tells me that I need to go over, so that's gonna be where I connect. I do that. This is too long. 
So half of two is one, so I'll make that a one. And then I know I'm gonna go over two, up one, or sorry, over two, up two, so half of each of those would be one, so that's my side way, my diagonal. This is too long, so that tells me to go over one here. And then I'm down two, over two again, so half of each of those would be one, so I'll go right here. And there is my scaled copy. Again, it should just be a smaller version. So on the separate sheet of graph paper, you're going to do A and C. I recommend on A, you start here and go up and around. And for C, we're going to go down and around. That's the way I would start. That's probably the easiest way. There you go. If you have any questions, you can send it through Remind or on my email, jgore at cnusd.k12.ca.us. Thank you very much.